Hi friend, this is the rate I old monk and today I am with the Zenfone Max. So this is the we are going to do the complete review of the device and tell you each and everything. So going through the specs first, it comes with the 5.5 inch HD display. Other than that, uh, it is coming with Snapdragon 410, which is a quad core processor. It has a 2 GB of RAM, 16 GB of internal storage. It comes with the expandable storage. At the back, we are getting a 13 megapixel camera, as you can see, and there is a dual tone LED flash. There is a lot laser autofocus. There is noise cancellation mic. On the top, we are getting a 3.5 mm jack. On the side, we are getting a metallic rim, as you can see, which gives a little bit of premium touch. In the bottom, we are getting one more noise cancellation mic, and here is a micro USB charging slot. Now. Taking out the back panel, uh, it comes with a little bit leather finish at the back. Uh, it is actually plastic, but uh, the feel and touch is of leather. So right now I'm taking the back panel out. It comes with a 5000 mAh battery. There is an expandable storage. There is SIM card one, and this is the SIM card two slot. It comes with the 4G LTE support, which is great. So the call quality of the device is good and using the zen phone it is great as you can see in the bottom we are getting the speakers firing here there is zen phone written in the front we are getting a 5 megapixel camera which is great i will not say too good uh, so these are what it comes with the specifications out of the box it is getting a 5000 milliampere battery it has a price point of 9900 triple so it is around 10000 uh, which is great and <clears throat> let me go through the device and show you some of the specs, benchmarks and uh, mm, uh, pictures what I have taken. Let me start with the camera app. So the camera of the device is pretty similar what we get in the ASUS smartphones. So I am putting it in the back mode and as you can see all the modes which are available we have seen already in the all the Zenfone phones. It comes with the auto, manual, SDR, beautification, super resolution, low light, night, depth of field, FX, selfie, GIF, panorama, miniature, there is time rewind, there is smart remove, there is all smile, slow motion and time lapse. These are the effects what you are getting. There is a flash on and off and there is also you can adjust the white balance, ISO, exposure value and camera resolution anti shake enhancement as you can see here image quality video quality burst mode focus mode and video stabilization that are the few features that we are getting here and there is also a manual thing which gives you all the manual settings this is the new update which comes with the device as you can see here it comes with the auto and there is exposure level ISO, there is shutter speed and focus and you can also reset them. So I will put into the auto mode right now. Coming back to that. Now let's check out the gallery of the device. This is the front camera. It is definitely impressive. It doesn't come with too much beautification which is one of the great things which I like. Now coming to a macro shot what I have taken as you can see. It takes a little blurry image here and it is not too great. The camera going into the outside is not getting a very good image. The light is good but still the camera feels to take a great picture. Now let's take a picture here and see. So I am taking an image here to show you the picture quality of the device is little average. I didn't find it too great here with the front and back camera but the main USB of the device is the battery so don't focus on the camera here right now and now we will go to the benchmark and see the benchmark scores of the device here let's start with the Antutu score so the Antutu score of the device comes around what it is blank it is 25,343 which is good enough with the device and I am going through the specs what I have already told it is running on Android 5.0.2 Lollipop and it is over uh, uh, on top of it you also get the Zen UI other than that let's check out the multi-touch here so 
it comes with the 10 multi touch which is great with the device and other than rest of the things i have already told you so i'm skipping that part let's get checked with the quadrant score so the quadrant score of the device is 14756 which is okay i will not say it is bad let's get started with the asphalt 8 so right now i'm playing the asphalt 8 the volume of the device is good enough to play so all we come with the battery here so what the battery comes so the 5000 milliampere battery runs around two days very easily there is hardly in lag so i'm right now putting the volume a little higher so that you can hear the audio of the device and the audio of the device is pretty average i will not focus on that part but uh, as far as the battery is concerned it runs on two days without any uh, obstacle and uh, one of the cool features is that it um, charge another smartphone um, or another smart device with using this as a charger which i will show you recently after playing the game and showing the game and the graphics of the device so the color and the crisp quality is good the viewing angles are very good of the definitely by the device and the price point what it is offering is uh, something very great with the battery instead keeping it in the mind so uh, i guess a little few updates in the software may fix the camera also and it may uh, make the device a great device in the price point what it is offering already asus is um, company which is having a lot more devices in the price segment and as you can see i am showing a little sample of the device playing the game so uh, the device is not hitting up on my side and uh, it takes a little longer to charge but using the charger what it comes in the battery it will take a little less time than the ordinary chargers and uh, there is no frame drop the gaming of the device is good the colors are crisp and brilliant let's switch on to the different game here so I'm switching to Mortal Kombat right now. So here I am with the Modern Kombat um, 5 and we are going to check out the game. So the game is starting. Uh, it may take a little time but uh, as I was saying the viewing angles of the display is good. And due to the this leather touch it gives a premium quality and holding it doesn't slip out from hand. So one of the good features while using and the metallic rim also gives it uh, a good finish and the device uh, runs actually um, good but uh, it is little heavy it comes around 200 grams which is uh, you may consider with the battery it is offering with so as you can see the color is crisp you are not uh, the device doesn't get a heat up here and um, this is just a play a game so don't take it uh, seriously so uh, whatever it is the gameplay of the device is great right now i will show you how to charge the other device using this one as the primary one as a primary charger so right now this is the otg cable what comes inside the box so the smaller side goes inside this one and uh, I will put the other end of the device to my um, power bank and here as you can see the power bank is charging whereas this is not charging this is if it gets charging you will see a different thing so while it gets charging uh, it will take some time to charge I am not charging right now and here it is discharging so this is the thing uh, the ASUS Zenfone Max is charging my power bank which is a cool thing uh, you can use the device for charging so the dual sim works well the 4G LTE of the device is great the qual quality of the device I, as far as we have used I didn't found any um, obstacles in that one so ASUS Zenfone Max a price point with, it is offering with the battery it is the Mm, one of the best set in the market. This is at the rate I will signing off. Please like the video, share the video, and subscribe to our channel.